Now, the rest of the story. It was just a spring exhibition baseball game in Florida's Payne Park, an exhibition game between the Boston Red Sox and the Milwaukee Braves. They used to say that Payne Park was rightly named, at least from a batter's perspective, because it was a big ballpark, a most difficult one in which to hit a home run. Anyway, the Sox and the Braves were going at it that day. Pitching for Boston was a fellow named uh, Ike DeLock, right-hander. Nothing spectacular, pitched a lot of fastballs. But let's pretend we're watching a movie of this game, and let's run it fast forward so that we can freeze on one frame. It shows Ike on the mound, and the Braves' rookie, the rookie second baseman, at the plate, the second baseman with the bat poised above his shoulder is barely 20. He has been called promising, but then a lot of rookies get called promising. But anyway, on this perfectly ordinary day, in the middle of this perfectly ordinary preseason game, the young second baseman is facing DeLock, and Ike DeLock winds up, and the pitch is a screaming fastball. Ike's specialty. Had it been a curveball or a slider, any other pitch, baseball history might now read differently, but it was a fast ball. And the young second baseman uncoiled with a crusher. I don't know if you know, but that's the thing about a fast ball. Combine the speed of the ball with the speed of the swinging bat, and they connect solidly, then that ball is gone. The Braves manager, Charlie Grimm, couldn't get over it, almost 400 feet to that long left field fence, and the rookie second baseman had sent the ball over the fence and into the trailer park beyond. It was only a preseason game, insignificant, almost in every way insignificant, except this is the rest of the story. The Braves manager, Charlie Grimm, had been counting on a recent trade acquisition of his team, a big hitting outfielder named uh, Bobby Thompson. But then right before the opening game of the season, Thompson broke his ankle. Well, that left a gaping hole in left field. There were at least two or three other players who might have filled that position. But manager Grimm, recalling that one stunning, super long, preseason home run by that young second baseman chose that young man and the rookie would always be certain that one home run was the reason he stayed with the Braves and eventually he was to hit more home runs than anyone in major league history I said eventually he was to hit more home runs than any other ever and now you'll remember the day it all began in March of 1954 for a rookie who was then faltering as a second baseman, a young man named Hank Aaron. Hank Aaron, now you know the rest of the story.